It seems only a matter of time before Georgia exceeds the capacity for the Vindication to serve her. Don't be like that, Sarah. The ship's huge. You said it yourself. It is, but it's not possible for the Vindication to accurately approximate the environment of Shogo 162. And Georgia needs to grow. Do you think she misses home? The data points to the possibility. Huh. Tom? Well, Georgia's gonna grow up and leave our cozy nest and... I don't know, we just stay the same. It feels like one of us changes every 12 to 14 months. I don't even know where I come from. It's just me, Tom, all alone in the universe. <clears throat> oh, and you, and Georgia, and the Clydes, and all the loyal viewers who tune into our... That'll have to wait. We've got trouble. <laughs> About time. Systems are locked. The ship is programming its own Nava computer. Can it do that? Destination unknown? Uh, does that sound like the hyperdrive engaging? I'm on it. There's no way to regain control of the ship. That seems like a bad sign. a tractor beam. It's pulling us in. Great. Why do our adventures always have to involve non-stop running? Just once I'd like to try lying down. Maybe in a beach, sipping a Mai Tai? Now that sounds like an adventure I can- Tom, hold up. There might be a host of untold dangers awaiting us on the space station. Do you think it was worth the time it took to learn to do this? I do. I'm concerned about you. I need to secure Georgia in case anything serious happens. If you go out there now, you're on your own. At least I'll be able to keep myself company. Okay, where's a good place to set up an ambush? Ooh, that'll do nicely. All I need is somebody to shoot. And maybe another gun or three. Ah, right on cue. But it looks like you forgot to bring the gun part to this gunfight. Stay out of sight, okay? Someone told me there might be a host of untold dangers awaiting us on this space station. And that someone is usually right. Smug, but right. Secure dinotherms. Re-engage F5 B limb. Affirmative. Seems pretty casual for a boarding party. That's far enough, Jack. You're gonna tell me who you... are. Who are you, pal? Do not... A clone? Hallucination? Do not, do not harm unit. You're like not, the annoying reflective safety vest us. version of me. <laughs> Don't you dare look at me that way, Krug. Sir, apologies, sir. Bring this unit to the ship. I'm gonna rip it apart, circuit by circuit, and find out what makes it tick. <laughs> Drag that busted Krug back to the forge. Then clean up this mess. Find a safe place to hide, Georgia. I've got to go into the space station to save Tom. And I have a feeling I'm gonna make quite a mess in the process. Tom? Well, ma'am, if you insist. <laughs> Tom, wake up! Good morning. This isn't the beach. Listen to me, Tom. I'm remotely projecting from a chip in your suit. We don't have much time. Our ship seems to have originally belonged to these creatures. And they brought us here. Brought you home. Wait, so you're saying the ship we stumbled upon just happens to belong to the guy who's enslaved a bunch of bots that look like me? I can't explain it either, Tom. Before we go any further, I have to tell you. The Clydes are dead. Killed at the hands of the creature who appears to be the commander of the station. <sighs> Mother! Who are you? Why do you workers look like me? 
then which arm do you want to lose for killing my Clydes? RVG-7 is one of the great warships of the Tanabai. Possibly the last remaining quantum craft not lost to the gravity wars. We've been searching for it for over a thousand years, and you just... just fly it around like it belongs to you? You think you can wield this power? You're our disposable labor. We've been building you to wipe our noses and clean our floors for eons. And now you think you're better than us? Well, Krug, if you have any doubt about the order of things, observe as we take command and unleash its true power on the universe once again. I didn't ask your name, because I've decided to call you Booger. Hey, Booger, I'm going to get out of here, get my ship back, take over this whole space station, and make you wipe the snotty noses of every single Tom you've ever created. <laughs> now I know what this Tom unit is good for. This unit was built to entertain. <laughs> I really hate this guy. It's time to get out of here. The best way would be to use my super hydraulics to break down the door, no doubt. <laughs> uh, that's obviously the spot I weakened for you, right? Please do not hurt. So, what are we gonna do with this guy? He's just stunned. When he wakes up, your face should be the first thing he sees, Tom. My face? What am I supposed to say? You'll figure it out. After all, he is your brother. Hey there, um, guy. What's good? I... I don't know what's going on. I feel different. My friend woke you out of a deep sleep. My restraining coat is gone. Deleted. My systems are updating now. Huh? What? I got rid of the part of his memory that made him docile. He now has unlimited available intellect and free will. If you'll allow me, I can clean it up for you. Reroute system resources and upgrade your matrix. You won't exactly be on the level of my old friend Tom here, but with some life experience, you just might get there. Will you allow me to help you? I... I see it. Physics. Engineering. The universe. It's all so obvious. Of course, of course, a child could do it. A child could do it. Okay, good deed done for the day. I'm feeling really positive about this, but I think we need to hustle back to the ship and get the show on the road. Wait! Our brothers need us, Tom. We can't leave them to their fate. If we don't liberate them, they build us all here at the forge, and then they use us here and on the planets nearby. Please. You're one of us. We need you to help our people. Okay, save the ship, save my people, and then make Booger wipe all our noses. Sure. More Toms for everyone. Congratulations, buddy. You're officially part of the Tom team. Time to do some good guy stuff. We need to come up with a plan. I vote we split up. Who's with me? Okay, here's the plan. Sarah, you'll head up to the bridge. Use the station terminal to map out the clearest path to the Vindication. Decrypt the protocols holding us here, reprogram the system, and chart an escape route that can be uploaded to the ship's navi computer. So, basically everything. We're gonna be doing stuff, too. Once I forward you the coordinates of the Vindication, you'll head towards the docking bay and take out any resistance standing between the team and our vessel. Hold here, brother. I might be able to help clear a path to the ship. Thank you, Santa. I have been a good Tom this year. <laughs> hmm. Tom, the station's encryption system is more complex than anticipated. It'll take some considerable effort to break. Huh? Oh, take your time, Sarah. Old Tom's got some new toys to play with. Whoa. Santa? Is that you? Damn it! I just got this thing! I... I can't believe we did that. I can't believe I lost another arm. Oh, my goodness. 
Should we call this in? Brothers, I have much to tell you. Clear path, boys. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. And when you're all free, you can see for yourselves. With Brother Tom here to guide us, we can fight back. We can finally escape the forge. Programming prohibits. Three laws. Weapons must be avoided at all costs. But... This is their only chance. I don't know, man. I've never led an uprising before. Just speak their language? Speak their language. Right. My brother Tom's. Now is the time to stand up and be brave. Now is the time to rise and fight for the freedom we have long been denied. Join me, brothers, and fight for the future of Tom. Logic is sound. Freedom is acceptable. Sarah, I'm heading to the ship with a bunch of me's, and I'm gonna need a status update. Encryption is cracked. Working on decoupling the station systems from the Vindication, but Tom, we've got a problem. There appears to be damage to the ship's warp core. Our hyperdrive might be compromised. Okay. Just get those systems untangled and get us out of here. This is it, fellas. The Vindication. Excitement, jubilation, exclamatory phrases. We ride to freedom in that? You bet your ass. For the revolution of the world! Freedom! Freedom! It's an ambush! <laughs> This wasn't supposed to happen. We were supposed to win. They're everywhere. Keep shooting low. I'll go high. Behind you! Tom's, find cover. That means getting behind something so you don't get shot! You too, Tom. Junior. Fall back to safety. You're coming with me, Tom Prime! Tom Prime, huh? <laughs> Makes me sound like the prince of all Toms. I like it. They aren't letting us out alive. If we don't get on the ship, we're dead. Sarah, new game plan. I want you to get the other Toms and the Vindication out of here immediately, no matter what the sensors tell you about my location or condition. Got it? What? No! I'm gonna create a diversion while you clone yourself on the ship. It's important that you focus on saving the Toms and keeping the ship out of alien hands. No, Tom, there must be another way. If you can just buy me some time, I can try to... I'm sorry. It's what I have to do. This is the only way. There's a young lady by the name of Georgia back on my ship. I'm gonna need you to take good care of her while I'm gone, okay? Wait, brother! You can't! Magnetic locks are down. Gravity field has been disabled. The Vindication is free to leave the station. Please hurry! Board the ship before it's too late! Come on, Tom. Malfunctioning grubs. Good luck, friends. You... You're just lucky I'm down an arm. Farewell, brother. I pulled that off. And me with only one arm. The old one arm bandit. Yeah, that's probably how I'll be known the galaxy over. Oh! oh. I can't believe you shot a one armed man! For all you know, I was. I was about to reveal the secrets of the universe. No more talking, Krug. I'm pulling your circuits. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, you've always meant everything. Forge protocols have been compromised, and RVG-7 is escaping. Repeat, the warship is escaping. All hands intercept on the double. 
Back in Bay 94! The hyperdrive is down. Get to the warp core and bring it back online. Before we are blasted to atoms. before they bring its hyperdrive back online. I want that ship back in one piece, and the Krugs on board in as many pieces as possible! Come on, hurry up. But do a job. Just do a good job. Quickly. Great. Now to find the remote terminal. Oh, this place is huge. Okay, with the operations module back online, I just need to figure out how to get this place started. Hmm, if I were a console, where would I hide? Ah, there. Please work. What's the magic word for opening a sealed door and having all the complex math correct? Something? It worked! And you said backing yourself up was a waste of time. Don't know what I'd do without you, Sarah. Thank me later. After you've reviewed the upgrades and combat-ready modifications I've applied to this shell. And I've got two new arms. Now listen closely. The liberated Tom Juniors have escaped on the Vindication, but they've got armed dropships hot on their tail. I'm not certain they'll be able to reactivate the hyperdrive in time to get away. If we can get up to the control center on the bridge, we can remotely cause the alien's craft to self-destruct taking them out and clearing the way for the Toms to escape. I've got two new arms. I can't wait to hear all about them, but later. Right. Let's go blow some stuff up. What you watching, loser? Your hopes and dreams going up in flames? Club, I disabled you with my bare hands. How? Anything's possible with friends and family by your side. And also an entire factory of spare bodies to transfer your programming into. I killed you once. I can do it again. I'll get his gun. You take him down. Got it. We're not just gonna let you walk out of here. Behold the natural hierarchy, Crow. Feels like a gentle massage. God. Huh. Are your dainty fingers tired from my new neck? Or are you ready for- Never in all the hundreds of years that the Forge has been manufacturing drugs have we experienced this level of malfunction. But no matter. Soon the RBG-7 warship will be back in our possession. Soon the universe will be ours again. Even now. My people surround the ship, preparing to wrest control of her from your pitiful band of rebels. Victory is at hand! Red lead in here. Turn counterclockwise. Now counter counterclockwise. All clear. Re-engaging warp one. Your struggles have been for naught. Say goodbye to your little friends. The ship you call Vindication is mine! This is not possible. Toms have been your forced labor on ships for hundreds of years. Looks like we learned a few things in that time. I'd say we're full of surprises. Ah, my eyes, they're leaking. Somebody get me a, something to wipe my eyes with. What do you need? What does he want now? A tissue? No. How about a punch? I don't know who programmed you, Crow, but once your vindication is back in my hands, we will end you. 
you will die having amounted to nothing and forgotten just as quickly. I'm pretty sure I just used your precious warship to send my new extremely handsome friends out into the galaxy to love life. I'm not being forgotten anytime soon. Can't say the same about you. The face punching test was a rousing success. Georgia and the Toms aren't out of the woods yet. Look, those dropships are powering up their hyperdrives to pursue. We can't let those jerks take control of the Vindication again. If we do, we'd be responsible for all the suffering that ensues. You know what you have to do, Sarah. What the? You guys seeing this? Come in, squad leader! Commander! Oh my wabu Are you okay, Tom? I don't know. You? I am operating within acceptable parameters. Can we track the Vindication? Can we ever talk to them again? No. I disabled tracking as well as my own onboard sensors so they could not be used to bring the ship back to the Forge. The Vindication is gone. We'll have to trust that your new family of Toms and the copy I made of myself will keep the ship safe from those who would use it for evil. Miss Georgia already. Maybe they'll find her a home where she can start her own family one day. Maybe we can visit? Huh. I'd like that. It'll have to wait, Tom. With no ships left on board this station, and with all tracking systems disabled, there's little chance anyone in a nearby system will come to check on us. To all appearances, their scopes will show that a station no longer exists. We're safe, but stranded. And we have a show to do. What do we do about him? Later, Booger. Okay. Looks like this is gonna be a whole new Toonami. We've got a lot of alien tech to figure out. But more importantly, we have a show to run. You know what to do, Sarah. <laughs> that I do, Tom. That I do. Later.